Hey guys, just a quick Friday afternoon vlog. So it's Friday. I assume during the week, this is about learning code and this is about the schedule. Something I always say is do a little bit every day, even 20 minutes a day will take you a long way. So let's say you work a full-time job, maybe you have kids, etc., etc. Just do 20 minutes a day. Just 20 minutes. You can find 20 minutes before you go to bed, after you put the kids to sleep, if you're doing that, when you come from work. 20 minutes a day will go a long, long way to learning how to code. Trust me, it builds up. You don't need to do these two, three hour, five hour marathons. If you do that, fine. But if you don't, 20 minutes a day, it's about frequency of exposure. The more you expose yourself to coding on a daily basis, even just a little bit a day, you're going to see your brain is going to adapt to that new way of thinking. Because when you're learning how to program, when you're learning how to code, it's a new way of thinking. So if you are on the Studio Web system, that means you have to do maybe three to four video lessons a day plus the quizzing, whether it be co-challenges and multiple choice, etc. Just three or four a day. You can handle three or four a day. In fact, Studio Web was designed for that because if you've been using Studio Web, you know that when you log out of the system and come back, it takes you right to where you were in the course, so you don't have to dig around, search out everything. So you go, there you go, that's my little tip for Friday. Um, also, if you've been working hard all week on your coding, if you manage some days to get in an hour or half an hour or whatever it is, Friday, you take it, a little, you take it easy, you gotta reward yourself. You have to create rewards for your good effort, whether it be learning to code, whether it be saving, whether it be eating properly, doing a little bit of exercise, little rewards, not killing yourself and overdoing it and then burning out and then dropping it all together. Little rewards on a regular basis will go a long way to creating positive associations with whatever you do. These are lessons of life. So with working out, for example, when I work out, I will go to the gym, I, will, I bike almost every day, but I go to the gym, and when I go to the gym, I just have my sets. I do seven sets, uh, or seven exercises, three sets per type of exercise. So it could be a bench press, three sets, a seven, then I do shoulder presses, then I might do four rounds of heavy bag workout, punching, kicking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I just do that, and that's it. And when I get to the point where I have a, a, an okay sweat, and I feel like I've done a, a decent workout, the muscles are pumped and I feel, you know, relax. That's it, I don't push myself because the biggest mistake you can make is overtraining. Is overtrain, burn your body out and then you're out for two weeks and then your brain thinks and associates pain with working out as opposed to pleasure. And then all of a sudden you're not working out. Arnold Schwarzenegger did a recent video about that. He says, when you first start training and weightlifting, this guy should know, he says, go easy. I can tell you from my experience, I did martial arts pretty consistently for 30 years. Um, again, if you overtrain, you're going to hurt yourself. Um, I remember when I would get injured, and not just me, when people would get injured, we're doing martial arts, you know, whether it be boxing or judo or whatever. And uh, so we're training really hard, really hard, then you get injured, then you're out for two weeks, you come back and you have like the best training session ever. Why? Because your body had two weeks to rest. Same thing with learning how to code. Give your mind time to rest. So you do like four days in a row, five days in a row, you do your 20 minutes, minimum minimum 20 minutes, and then you uh, take time for your brain to assimilate the information. This is an old trick. Trust me, it's gonna work well. You want to associate good feelings with whatever you want to accomplish. Have a process, right? Have a process. The goal is to execute on the process. The goal is to execute on the process, meaning you don't want to be so caught up with, I got. I want, my goal is to be a great developer. That's a good goal, but until you get there, you're never going to have satisfaction, right? So what you do is you change your goal. So your goal is, I'm just going to do 20 minutes a day. That's it. That's the goal. So every day, ah, you get a little satisfaction, a little payoff. Same thing with training. Every day, 20 minutes a day. So uh, another life lesson, if you want to lose weight, which you should try to hit BMI, uh, body mass index ratios. Everybody's overweight, including me to a certain extent. Well, not now, but I have been, I've lost like 60 pounds, held it off for like seven, 10 years now. To the point when uh, 
an ex-girlfriend of mine, I ran into her after I had lost 30 pounds. She couldn't recognize me. I had to stop her in the street. It's me, it's me. She didn't know who I was. Um, and how did I lose the weight? Same principle. Just a little bit every day. Just a little bit every day goes a long way in terms of uh, achieving your goal. What did I do? A little bit more exercise, a little bit eating less. Now, if you want to lose weight, it's, it's 95% eating a little less. Not even, it's not even so much what you eat, it's more the quantity. They've proven that over and over again. People are going to try and sell you on secret formulas. No. All you have to do, like a good friend of mine, he lost all his weight. He's back down to his college weight, what he was in college. And all he did was he ate until 80% full. He didn't get stuffed until he was 80% full. And then he just, that's it. That was he's done for eating that, that particular meal. He didn't change what he ate. He didn't change how he ate. The only thing he changed was he just stopped eating when he was 80% full. Again, little incremental changes go a long way. Whether you want to get in shape, whether you want to learn to code, whether you want to start a business, it's little incremental changes. The, the big mistake people make is they try the lottery ticket approach. You're going to buy that ticket. You're going to hail Mary pass. You're going to hope that you, you, you shoot for the rafters and you're going to have tremendous success. You're going to be one of the lucky ones. No, do a little bit every day. Anyway, it's Friday today. If you've done your coding consistently over the week, take it easy today. Just do your 20 minutes and that's it. Enjoy the weekend. And remember, drink water too. Drink water. Before you start learning, drink water so that you lubricate the brain. And after you, you, uh, you, you uh, study, drink some more water, lubricate the brain again. And um, of course, same thing with training. Eh? All right. I hope you found this Friday afternoon vlog useful. I got to head out. Got to go to lunch. Bye-bye.